Hello everyone, this is Mike Sangvi and I am back with another Cognos Report Studio tutorial video and in this video we are going to learn about how to open Report Studio, how to create a new report, how to open existing report. So let's start and first we have to know uh, how to open Report Studio. For this you have to click on launch and I am assuming you already logged in your IBM Cognos connection. Okay, then second assumption is you have appropriate privileges to access report studio if you have logged in on your IBM Cognos connection and you have appropriate rights to open report studio then your report studio is available in launch and report studio click to open report studio now report studio is asking which FM package you want to open if you previously open your report studio with some packages then you get the history here recent used package and if your package is not available then you have to navigate your navigate in the folder where FM package is available for all my videos I am going to use go sales and my FM package is available in samples models and go sales query I want to use this if you want to use this then you have to click on this so click and your report should is open report studio is open successfully and this is the welcome dialog box okay click on close yes I want to close the report studio and I am going to show you another method to open report studio for this you have to click on first you have to navigate where your FM package is available my FM package is available in samples and then inside models and this is my FM package click your FM package to open and then launch and report studio report studio is by default is going to use our go sales query or the current FM package where you are right now okay so right now I am inside go sales so by default FM package is going to use this or the report studio is by default going to use this go sales okay next thing we have to create a new report for this you have to create click on create new now you have various options you can create a blank report list cross type chart map financial repeater table or you can use existing report template for the timing just click on blank and click on ok congratulations you successfully created your first report now it's time to save our report I know right now we didn't add any stuff in our report but let's save our report for this you have to click on file or save okay or click on this flap with icon to save your report and by default report studio is going to save your report inside go sales query if you want to s create a new folder inside this FM then you have to click on new and create a new folder so let me create a demo new folder and now you can save your report inside this ne demo new folder double click to open and if you don't want to save your report here then you can navigate your place where you want to save now how to navigate let's see right now I am inside this this is my folder and if I want to navigate to the parent folder then you have to click on this icon up one level so it will redirect to the upper level just another level just another upper level and let's say if you want to create or if you want to save your report here then you have to just give provide a proper name so let's say my demo report and then you have to save it okay as a best practice always save your report inside your FM package or just create another folder let's say I want to create I am go sales and let's say business reports create a new folder and just save your report inside this okay so it 
it is very easy to deploy why whenever you want to deploy your FM package in report then you have to just simply give this path to your deployer that you have to deploy only this folder assuming you folder not contain any other stuff and you don't want to deploy any other stuff or another method you can just create a go sales folder and just simply say that uh, inside go sales I have a FM package and reports which I want to publish so as a best practice always create a folder inside the folder save your FM package or end reports and even you can tell that I have to deploy only this now how to uh, now I'm going to use my demo new folder to save my report so click on this and let's say this is my demo report click on save button to save your existing report your report is saved successfully okay now close this now, the third part of this video we have to learn how to open an existing report so let's say you are in a public folder then if you want to open a report then you have to launch report studio select your required FM package so we are going to use go cells and then open existing report if welcome box is not available then you can click on this open icon or you can select open from file menu navigate to your report so my report is available demo new folder and select your report to open it another method to open report is first from your folder public folder or whatever in whatever place you are just click on samples models and my report is available inside go cells query demo new folder and click on this icon to open this report in report studio congratulations you are now you are able to know how to open reports or existing reports in report studio click on close to close report studio now one thing I want to share with you let's say this demo report and you want to perform or you want to do some POC work then you have two option you can open your existing report save this existing report as a save as and let's say POC save it here and your new POC report is generated here and you can work perform your POC related work here but this is not a good practice to create some POC work in public folder so it is always recommended that all the POC related work you can save this in your personal my folder and your my folder is available just here okay now how to save your this report in my folder okay so let me first close this report or let me open my demo report so this is my demo report and let me open this and my demo report is open successfully now I have to save this in my folder so for this you have to click on file save as and then you have to select my folder I want to save this in my folder and just create a new folder let's say I want this is my December or this is my March 2004 15 release create a new folder and let's say inside this I am working on let's say key I want to perform some POC on tree prompt so tree prompt POC click here double click and save your report just here okay now this have some drawbacks it always reset your drill through and drill through so whenever you are creating or you are moving your report from one folder into another then you have to ensure that once you are once your moving is completed then you have to just ensure open your report and check all the drill throughs and also ensure your FM package or your package is your report is pointing to write FM package 
so how to check whether your um, report is pointing to right FM package or not for this you have to click on file and then you have to click on report package and my this report is pointing to right current package is go sales query and if you are not able to show the location of this then you have to just navigate to your samples models and then go sales query select this and click on OK another method to check whether your report is pointing to correct FM package or not for this you have to check the properties this is my demo report and if I want to check whether it is pointing to correct FM project or FM package or for this I have to click on set properties and then you have to look for packages courses link to a package and your F or report is currently pointing to CoSales FM package available in Cognos public folder samples and models. Click on cancel. You can change you can also change the FM package from here. I'm not going to change it right now because I want to use GoSales query. Click on cancel and click on cancel. Okay. As a part of this video, I covered everything. If you still have any doubts, just leave it in comment section. I will try to reply as soon as possible with proper resolutions. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and click on like button and see you all in next Report Studio tutorial video.